Now you should follow suit and just get to the bay. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Oh! Wake up, everybody! <laughs> Why are you so loud? <laughs> we about to go to my brother's house! Me and my sisters are about to drive to Birmingham, Alabama from Chicago, Illinois. That is a long ass drive. I'm sorry, Ma, I curse. It takes about 10 hours approximately to drive this drive. I wanna do a sister tag on the way down there, guys. Meet Terry. She's a little bit of a hype this morning. It's my baby sister. And meet Rachel. This is my older sister. Hola. I look a mess, but I'm a little cute in a minute. She's a Leo. Amen. All right, we are on the road. We just drove through Indianapolis. I believe we've been on the road for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Wow, that's fast. We are going to do a sister tag. I remember it. I remember it. Sleeping Beauty back there. Rise and shine. <laughs> okay. What do you like about your sister? Who wants to answer that one? Yo, Jeremy, you go first. Okay, this is Terry. This is my youngest sibling. She is the youngest out of all of us. You'll meet our brother soon. Lives in Birmingham, Alabama. Freedom! What I like about Terry is that she's not easily persuaded. Her mind is her own. Terry don't want to do nothing. I best believe Terry's not going to do that shit. Let me not curse so much because daddy going to watch this. Terry don't want to do something she's not going to do. This is a child that could probably not get kidnapped. No, she would not absolutely not fold. Like, like who is that? You try to touch her, she's swinging first. <laughs> That's what I like about Terry. What I like most about Rachel is she is the big sister, so she makes sure everything is taken care of. She's like she's like the mom. She makes sure that our children aren't running around crazy. But that's what I like the most about her. She's very sweet. What annoys you the most about your sister? Oh, let me take this one. Oh, this girl. Of course. All right, so let me start with the person that's the channel here. What annoys me the most about Tina, Yvonne here, is that she sometimes, she can just do the most. But the thing is, is that some, she literally thinks she's right all the time, even when she's wrong. That's like growing up, I could never win an argument with her, so I would just start swinging, because I would get pissed. <laughs> what annoys me most about Kena? She's a know-it-all. She thinks she knows everything. Even though she has this YouTube channel, she really should have been a lawyer low-key, because mm. she would win every case. If she see what's going to lost, what I'm down for, she would win every case, make up some bread. But, love my sister nonetheless, but that annoys me about her. Consensus in the room. I am a know it all. It's our first stop. We right outside Louisville, Kentucky. So I'm sniffing for the racism. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. Bring yourself Lunch time. Making the sandwiches. What's a weird habit of your sister? You got one? Okay. I don't think she minds me sharing this because she's so free about it, but. This one. Okay, the fact that like, we, first of all, we live in a house with all women, and our brother lives in Alabama, and our dad lives in his house. If you have a house with all women, you just want to be free. This one, Kena, fully just walks around the house just butt naked. Doesn't care, just kind of a weird habit. It is true. I love to be naked. I think we should all go back to the times when we was naked. We don't know why we put clothes on us when we gonna be buried in it. For the funeral. Oh, right. Burn me. You want to be cremated? Yeah. You sure? Yes. I don't need my body just rotting here. Free no my way. spirit. If she want it that way, don't trap me underground. We have just entered the state of Alabama, so we got about an hour and a half left. What was your biggest fight? Their biggest fight was they was fighting over some panties. I'm going to say it's fighting over some panties, y'all. I swear to God.
my sister Kina is animated. Come on, animated. I like that. When we were in high school, Kina would go up to underclassmen at school. She would say, hi, I'm Kina. I get imagination. I'm Kina. It's not a rainbow, it's sparkles. You see these? These are the sparkles. Touching all of the sparkles. <laughs> My sister Rachel is selfless. If she got two dollars and somebody was broke and they didn't have a dollar, she would get them half of what she had. Terry is unique. She's just different. And that's okay because that fits her. That's right. Thank you. Okay, I got one. We have to describe what each other's daughters would be like and what each other's sons will be like. That's what's interesting. So I think that Kena's daughter would be a, a really pretty little girl that's you know like very confident she has that natural confidence and natural like leadership to her i feel like she would inherit that from Kina. rachel's daughter is gonna be a sweetheart she's gonna be so nice she's gonna be the one that's like always trying to like help out like i'll help you grandpa rachel's daughter is gonna be the niece we're gonna go to all ballet recitals and all of her pageants you know, for some reason, I feel like Terry's daughter gonna be the opposite of Terry growing up. Cause usually that's how that's how life circle works. You know what I mean? Terry went through a lot in her childhood, being you know kind of awkward, and daughter gonna have the opposite of it. Cause Terry's overcoming that now, so daughter's gonna have the confidence that Terry wish she had as a kid. I just feel like that for some reason. So I would love that for my daughter. Everything she said was true. I mean, if you desire it, you can have it. So Rachel's boy. Okay, I feel like. Rachel's son is gonna be a big mama's boy. I feel like he is just gonna cling to her. He's gonna just love his mom like as a baby. Very intelligent, very strong, very wise. That son is like really gonna protect his mother. He's gonna be where it's like his mom is the most important woman in his life, for sure. He's gonna be bad. He's gonna be flipping over furniture, <laughs> playing ding dong ditch, trying to kiss a girl. I'm like, boy, get your, get your son, King, if I give him a whooping. That boy's gonna be bad, because he's You know the show Smart Guy with Taj Mowry? You know how he was just so smart and he was funny as hell. He used to treat everybody and nobody knew. He's super smooth though. But when he actually like get into his swag, he start dressing a little something, something, mm -hmm. a little beard on. You know, he's gonna be real low key. He's that smart dude that he don't talk about how smart he is. He just is that smart. You know what I'm saying? You don't know he getting all the A's. You don't know he just scored a 35 on the ACT. You don't know he just got accepted into Princeton, Yale, and Harvard. Just be doing him, but he got a goal. You know, that's Terry's son for sure. All we do is give, what? and all we do is leave. Uh, yeah. I wake up every day and pray, uh, so God can make a way. Uh, well, we have made it to Alabama. Everybody, give a round of applause for Terry. She drove four straight hours. Rachel, how many hours did you drive? <laughs> this is my big brother, guys. Full of bone. We're down in the ham. The what? The ham. I oh, know you're not cosigning. That's the ham. We said Chicago to shop. Uh huh. It's the ham. That will never be a thing. If you live out here, it will be a thing. That's the yeah, ham. Well, stay tuned for part two with the sibling tag to cap it off. All right, guys. Party like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs>